fell in love with this bra. She was so green and I'm an OG and we went straight to the stars. I was 13 when we first met, now you can't keep us apart. She got a key to my heart, came through like a thief in the dark. I fell asleep in the car, chief in the zone. Can't wait to see her tomorrow so we can do it again and again and again. Bamboo, she so soft. I just mix in the blend and I blew in the wind. And got my mind on cloud number nine. Yeah, I'm high, but I'm still on my grind all the time. Ay. I'm blowing on the one and not the two. They call you Mary Jane, but I prefer to call you Boo. Sometimes I call you Babe. Me and you, we can't get paid. When I burn you, it's good vibes. I ain't gotta burn no safe. I'm blowing on the one and not the two. They call you Mary Jane, but I prefer to call you Boo. Sometimes I call you Babe. Pop, affected your growth, that dance and art. I think of a movie you playing a part. You was the broad, I was the coolest. Busting my moves when we was exclusive. You was a muse, now I'm abusive. I admit it, I ate or shit it. You assisted, now that's addiction. Lately, I'm wishing you never existed. Really ain't fair to compare you to bitches. I was a pup just learning to fuck. Breaking you down, burning you up. Supposed to be pimping, you earning a buck. You ain't a whore, you gone go tour. Telling myself when I'm fucking a raw. We've been established, you was the habit. Black on my lungs, just like I'm a Catfish, holding my quit, but you on my fabric. Fact is, with you, I'm hustling backwards. On God, I'm done, just pass me the backwards. I'm blowing on the one and not the two. They call you Mary Jane, but I prefer to call you Boo. Sometimes I call you Babe. Me and you, we can't get paid. When I burn you, it's good vibes. I ain't gotta burn no safe. I'm blowing on the one and not the two. They call you Mary Jane, but I prefer to call you Boo. Sometimes I call you Babe. Sound with the pressure. Yeah. Smoking on paint, cry baby. Uh, Mary Jane, that's my baby. baby. In the morning when I wake up, uh, Mr. Presidential with the first lady. Gold digger with the lemon cherry. Yeah. Clementine with the cranberry. Hey. We game, I'm MJ. Jump shot like Steph Curry. Wish. Got the ditties in the Tahoe. Uh, Driver looking like J Lo. Yeah. Foreign bitches on the payroll. Now them bitches getting pesos. Whoa. Got them shopping on Melrose. They was shopping up in Rainbow. Yeah, Oi. I'm blowing on the one and not the two They call you Mary Jane, but I prefer to call you Boo Sometimes I call you Babe, me and you, we can't get paid When I burn you, it's good vibes, I ain't gotta burn no safe I'm blowing on the one and not the two They call you Mary Jane, but I prefer to call you Boo Sometimes I call you Babe, me and you, we can't get paid When I burn you, it's good vibes, I ain't gotta burn no safe Presto on the track. You wasn't with me shooting in the gym. See me in the streets, say that's him. Sipping ballet, yeah, Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. You wasn't with me shooting in the gym. See me in the streets, say that's him. VOS Fresh, yeah, Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. Y'all hungry, so I grab a plate from Saudis. Little bad bitch with me, got body. I ain't trying to kick it, no karate. I'm the shit, little baby on the potty. Serving stuff that I make it no snotty. Holding up them bands as a hobby Try to rob me and I'm gonna catch a body Money on your head like a rap on a Saudi I'm the Fresh Prince of Southeast Check my paperwork if you wanna know about me Matter of fact, you can ask your bitch about me Put the wood in her mouth like a mouthpiece I don't fuck with y'all niggas, y'all too gay While I sit bare lead like Gatorade Money on my mind, how am I get paid today? Y'all waiting on the pay like layaway I need mine on demand, yeah, that's COD Murder money and move shit, M3 I got choppers on deck, tall as Big G That VOS Polo, that Big V Might pull up on L down on V Street Might be down at A down on Peach Street Might be down Miami on South Beach Wherever I'm at, keep it Southeast You wasn't with me shooting in the gym See me in the street, say that's him Sipping ballet, yeah, Fresh Prince Fresh Prince You wasn't with me shooting in the gym See me in the street, say that's him VOS Fresh, yeah, Fresh Prince Fresh Prince You 
what with me shooting in the gym. See me in the street, say that's him. Sipping Bel-Air, yeah, fresh prince. What, what attracted you to the bad guys? I believe being a hoe going your record like a felony. No, man. Do you know how to be feminine? You think you can turn it on and turn it off like a switch, right? Men want femininity. And y'all not giving it. Why are women more single nowadays? And typically, how many men do you entertain at one time? See, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. See, women got men confused with little boys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now, sis. That's why you're single. Say, I mean, somebody just say, hey, what's up, chat? You know, pop up in a DM, and she say, I have a boyfriend. Is she still your girl? <laughs> oh, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> Is she still your girl? She responded to his uh, message. And said she had a boyfriend. She got a boyfriend. Uh, straight like that. <laughs> Is she still your girl? How you feeling about that? It, that the, the fact she replied back. I mean, I, that's what I was wondering. Is we checking her off just because she said something? <laughs> no, nah, I'm just saying. How you feel? Because I saw I saw something where I saw a post where it's a similar, just like this. Um, if a woman reply back to the message and say I have a boyfriend, it's better to not respond. So I want to see how you feel. Now, if she respond back and say she not your girl, so I want to know y'all thoughts on this shit. I kind of me. I kind of feel it, but I mean, she said you had to do it, but at the same time, baby, why you respond? <laughs> like, I don't know. For me, social media ain't really that deep. Like, <laughs> you could talk to whatever the fuck you want to. It might not even be the right person. They probably trying to catfish your way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I would say if she's doing some, like, business like, shit, uh, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, it's fun. Everybody do that. <laughs> I ain't fucking nobody. You ain't talking to them outside of mm -hmm. social so, media. You don't think um, that her responding is like, I don't know, because um, I get the post. Her responding is like, man, you ain't even had to respond to that. It's like, yeah, um, you why you even people, respond? <laughs> I feel like some people, like, I don't know. Like, that's a level of jealousy that I can't get. Well, insecurity. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, so for me, like, I don't know. This social media, like, people talk, it's like, it's, it's, it's the whole point of social media is to be social. Mm -hmm. Like, I grew up on the internet where you troll. Like, yeah. most of the time, that's what the internet was used for in the beginning. Talking shit. Mm -hmm. Even still, like, so, like, Somebody saying something to you on the internet, like wow, whoopee. Yeah. Like, Nisi, how how would you feel for the for the lady? Um, if your man respond back to the girl, like, but you say, yeah, I got a girlfriend. You ain't tripping off that. I'm not gonna be mad because I mean, at least she knows somebody in the picture. Like it's not like he's sitting there having a full blown conversation. And don't even acknowledge that. You know he's spoken for, mm -hmm. but I mean. He, yeah, you said it. You got a girlfriend, and then she could tell you the conversation. Now, after that, what you say after that, tread lightly. <laughs> so I'm saying, <laughs> after you tell the shorty that you got a girlfriend, she could tell you the conversation, and then you keep going with the conversation, tread lightly. Yeah. What about you, Lily? What you think? I mean, if you're in a relationship, let it be known at the end of the day. No secrets to nobody about your shit. 
but like Nisi said, like after you tell that person that you got a girlfriend, it's no need for any other conversation after that. <laughs> So you can't talk to people. <laughs> no, you can talk to people, but that's why I say it tread lightly because it all depends on like what you say afterwards. If she trying to like, talk to you, nah, like it's no conversation needed because she got other objectives. Like she, I don't know. If she's trying to get to know you, that's something different. If you you talk to know you want to get to know yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, you already know they coming in trying to. Trying to see what's up with you. Just having a conversation. They, no. Nah. But like, it, like I said, it depends on how the conversation goes. Like, That's what I yeah, said. she trying to go smack. He trying to go smack. Oh, so, That's I ain't. Yeah, I ain't trying, yeah I mean, they trying to go smack. I mean, because you know, you jump in your DM, I'm trying to go smack type mm-hmm. shit. So that's what I'm saying. Um, and you know this person. You don't know this person from a can of paint. They ain't coming. They got to come in with their full introduction. Hey, how you doing? Name such and such, and this is why I'm reaching out to you. Mm-hmm. And it can either be business or pleasure, but you'll mm-hmm. you'll understand it. So that's why I say I understand the post. If you know a nigga trying to go smack, why you even have to tell him you got a boyfriend or whatnot? No, I mean because yeah, you already know. Yeah, but <laughs> it's on the internet. You don't gotta leave it on red. Yeah. Y'all leave your own men on red. <laughs> 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 Don't mean, don't mean shit. shit. <laughs> uh, so it's it's like the post is yeah. it's like the post is situating that because she replied back she leaving a little hope like that's <laughs> it's a little old. how you feel about that, Charlie? Well, I think when somebody say that to me, I'll be like, well, why you telling me? Why you ain't block them? Yeah. Cause if you if you come in to tell me the person trying to talk to you and you feel like it's bad, why you don't just block them and it would have been over with? Mm. You'll never see him again, you will never see him again. But you leave it there so he could keep liking your pictures and sending your hard eyes so you could ignore them and mm. feel great about yourself. Damn. Yeah. It's the truth. <laughs> it's the motherfucking truth. That's why I say I get it. Uh, yeah. Um, but I'm gonna get into my Wait, next topic. Right. We're gonna keep it rolling. Yeah. I mean, that's what it's for, cause if you ain't ready, we just block them. That's what I'm saying. If you ain't what why would why would you even reply back? I get it both ways. I mean it just So the question was, is she still your girl? So how you feel about like damn Charlie, why you even reply back to him? If you don't know this person from can of paint, he ain't offering you no business, why even respond? Cause women get DMs all day long. Our women get DM. So uh you ignore some, most, but you reply back to this one and say, "I got a boyfriend." You you're not answer you're not replying back to every um, message. So, but this one message right here, I have a boyfriend. That's a little, little weird right there. I mean, that's the situation. Then it might seem a little old, like you got thirty four dudes in this man, and out of these dudes, one dude you respond to and tell him. What you was trying to mock him for later? <laughs> like, what you want? That's what I'm saying. But yeah. we as men also already know that that don't mean nothing to no man. Like, mm-hmm. you told a man you got to do again. You know, like, oh, wow, I got to respect like, your like, relationship. You don't give a damn. It's like, yeah, you reply. You give a fuck. Now, now I got to come back with a, a, a sweet, sweet talk. You know what I mean? It's Some To finesse my way in. Uh yeah, to buy time and shit. Matter of fact, you know I I respect that and all that shit. And then a month two later, he in the DM. Hey, how you doing? I was just checking on you. Now he building rapport slowly but surely. Now you got an issue with your dude. You been replying back to this nigga been showing you attention. <laughs> know what I'm saying it's like you man, let's play chess. It don't even be like that. Bro. You crazy as <laughs> shit. Come on, man. <laughs> Crazy so, shit. So that's not just so that. So you plant seeds. You gotta plant seeds it. sometime. Let it grow. He's saying she green if she keep that door open like that to the point where she not shutting it down completely. Uh-huh. So later on, if you get into it with your man, he already think that nigga good. If you want to go, he already broke the ice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He already been the confidant on the side. Yeah. Hey. You replying back was a signal like. This, yeah, it's something. Because I know she ain't just reply back to me. 
Yeah. Okay. And she ain't replying back to everybody. No, man. So. Life like a game. Nigga gonna be like, all right, what's next? Uh, <laughs> exactly. What I say next? Man. Yeah. Now, who would this line be like? You got a boyfriend. <laughs> what you say? I just want to be friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, well, someone straight. What, what do you got to do with me? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you reply, so I'm, I'm going to say some slick shit. Yeah. Go I, just be, feeling, you I know. just be feeling like if I told you that I have a boyfriend, like, it's up to me if I'm going to continue the conversation. Right. But then it's going to be disrespectful if I'm sitting there having just a regular, you know, conversation. We talking about stuff that I wouldn't feel comfortable with showing, you know, my nigga the conversation. But the shit. but the key thing is, do you reply back to every message? You nah, get? I don't reply back to every Exactly. Message. So we know that y'all, y'all ain't replying back to every message. Now you reply back to my message, I'm in there some way. It's a reason you no, maybe reply back to my you, message. You, you don't know me. me and I'm talking nah, I'm talking about off the initial joint. Oh, initi- oh no. Appreciate you, Gloria. Y'all see? I can't see it. Shout out to Glory in the building. <laughs> Glory said she watered the plant. <laughs> Straight from home. Don't breathe on the phone, Glory. Keep your mask on, baby. <laughs> we miss you, Good over here. Uh, I'm going to move on to the next topic. Um, I'm, I'm glad y'all are trying to. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's vice versa. It can go. Um, what are some things we overlook as men in relationships where we cause them more harm than good. Some things we may overlook. Mm, that's definitely one. <laughs> that's, that's, that's up there. Uh, I think the... Yeah. That one go along <laughs> with... with that's how they leave, hate your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's what exactly. Leave. Yeah. Um, and the ladies can answer this. Um, what would you believe men overlook that um we cause more harm than good? Y'all, y'all would know. Y'all would be able to answer I that. I feel too. like sometimes we overhelp, like to a point where we we enable them to do. You know, <laughs> not day <they> back. <laughs> and um, um, give, give me an example with that. Like, uh, it, it could be in, in a multitude of things. I know people who deal with women who drink a lot or smoke a lot or mm-hmm. you and know, you do something that, even if you still capable in what you supposed to do when you're doing it, it's just the fact of the matter that this something that ain't good for you and. It, it, it ain't something healthy, and I don't like you when you do this shit. But mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep enabling you because it yeah, makes you buying the shit for you, right? So to get past this little aggression, so we can have a good day, I'm gonna go ahead and buy you a bottle. So mm-hmm. you know, shit like that. So, no, for sure. Um, what about you, Lily? How you feel? Well, first, let me get. Um, wow. Right, because we got those other guys. Give us the yeah. process. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, something that um, guys may overlook that cause more harm than good. Uh, I want to say, I don't know, like You think most guys we overlook that? Yeah, I I, I say um most guys overlook their stock, like where they come from, their mother, their father. You gotta look at the family. You know what I mean? Mostly the mother, cause they say that's what she gonna end up looking like. Then like um do she got a good relationship with her mother? No. Um, I, 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 I don't know. Like no, that's the case though, cause. You got, you know, extenuating circumstances for everybody. Mm-hmm. Like some people may not even know their parents or might have had parents who had mm-hmm. a But uh, the, the person that raised them, um, mainly that, as their parent, you know what I mean, um, their guardian, um, 
I can, because I, I, I agree too, but it's for different folks because I was raised by my mother and um, the people that was around me, I grew up around my uncles and all that, I lost my father, but I, I didn't end up like them. But for the most part, even with women that I dealt with, um, I saw they was becoming their mother. I knew who their mother was and I saw they was, you gonna be just like your mother. No, I mean, I, I, I literally sit, saw it in plenty of women. Do you look for your mother in them? Like the traits and the hey, that they No, nah, I didn't think so. It was crazy. I was talking to the man. No. Uh, <laughs> that I was say, I said, you know what? Because my, my child mother is Scorpio. My mother is Scorpio. I say, hey, yeah. and then I realized I'm saying a lot about mother in this joint. I was like, God damn. I'm about to say, I don't think you purposely. No, I ain't purposely looking for. I ain't the, looking for that. It just the same qualities to do. Look fuck do. around. Marry my mama. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah, but shout out to you, man. I know you are gonna watch this in the morning. Uh, hey, hey, mom. Uh, People don't but, know what they mother like. Yeah, but like it's. They know what they mother a uh, mother, but they don't know like in a relationship. Mm-hmm. So you ain't gonna know. And like I, I done like one of my friends for instance, she got. She she she's beautiful, and her mother is beautiful. Older, single. No, I mean single. Um, I don't know what reason, but it's like now this, you know, her daughter, my friend, she up in age where like, shorty, you just like bad, you would have been snatched up. No, I mean why nobody? You you look good, you got all the thing, but why you ain't? You 33 years old, man. Ain't nobody take you off the market yet. What if she don't want to get off the market? <laughs> she do. What if she, what if she, cool with, she what do she want cool to because what if she, she cool, cool with dating. She is, why she got to be just because she's 33? Because she's not. Good. This is my she friend. I, I know. She got to be She got to be with somebody. I mean, why can she just be that, that'll be deflection. She'll be lying when she say it. And I know this person. This is my friend. And I know several like this. And... They, yeah, they may say oh, I'm cool, but no, they not. Nobody, they, they want, like they, too, y'all don't want to sleep with multiple men. As women, y'all don't mm-hmm. want to do that. Uh, but, some hey. of them do. Yeah, some of them do, but I'm, <laughs> I say women. We, we, we can give them other ones a different title. We can say 304s or, you know, she's for the streets and shit. But I'm talking about a woman that trying, you know, be, be a woman, a lady, mm-hmm. or whatnot. So it's level two of shit. Like I, I say with men and niggas, it's a difference between a men and a nigga. So you got uh, bitches, women, hoes, slut, I mean, oh, let me chill out. Shout out to YouTube. Um, yeah, so ladies, what y'all think? Y'all want to talk about this so I can move on to the next one? And then we, yeah, I'm about to say, you can go yeah, to the next one. Um, <laughs> yeah. What happened when men lose respect for their women in a relationship? <laughs> Speak up for me, bro. <laughs> Ain't nothing good coming out of that. <laughs> you lose respect for his women, he, he throwing out. I was about to say, yeah. out of that, you gonna start moving real, like, ah, right, he fucked this shit. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, what do it matter? Yeah, it's usually, the same for the women, though. I mean, no, usually definitely. with men, it's like, we know. And then with men, it'd be crazy, because, like, if a man love you, Sometimes a nigga be willing to allow you to do whatever it is you're doing. Mm-hmm. Most men just want the truth about that shit. Because if you're going to still let me have sex with you, and you're going to at least be honest about what you're doing outside of me, I'm going to fuck other people, but I'm going to still want to fuck with you. Mm-hmm. But if you're not telling me the truth about it, then I ain't. I'm going to just curry that shit. Yeah. Nah, for sure. Because it ain't for too sure. many men that's going to turn you down after they done already had a relationship with you and been having sex with you. Mm-hmm. Like at that it point. take a lot for a man to leave a woman. And, and can y'all agree, if a man leave a woman, she really fucked up. Mm-hmm. She really fucked up because we give so much grace. You know what I mean? Time and opportunity for you to improve. But it's like when we let you go, Charlie, you ain't shit for real. <laughs> like, <laughs> bubbas. <laughs> But um, last year, I'm gonna let Chris go in. Um, is it okay to uh, accept money from women who you're who you're involved with? If so, 
when is it acceptable? Anytime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so is this your lady? Like is it okay to accept money sure from women? I'm spending money all the time. Yeah. So whenever yeah. you just ask, you gonna throw me some money. Oh yeah, good looking. Yeah, I'm with it. I think that's my love language. You give me some money, and we don't get invest in me. Look out for me. Uh, Not just that's my love language. Random stuff. No, it's random stuff. Y'all it's random shady. stuff. Maybe maybe the random. other day you was talking about. Dang, I really <laughs> I really wanted to get da 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 da. Like say you want a new speaker. And then I just randomly in the store, Target shopping. Oh shit, he did say he wants a speaker. Let me give him a speaker. Yeah, that's nice. And then I give you a speaker. That's not one of your. Yeah, that's like, nice. That's just, just be grateful. Yeah, you definitely gonna appreciate it. But if you give me the money and I buy the speaker and I got four dollars left from that, I got speakers and four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you talking about? No, I got the change too. <laughs> fuck you talking about? Oh, give me the money. Shit, like y'all be cool. Like y'all like shit like that. Yes. We not the same. But I'm not. I'm not gonna say. Oh yeah, I'd rather you give me five hundred dollars versus give me, give, give, give me this two hundred. Give me this two hundred dollar bag, and then I turn around and still got three hundred dollars. Like I'm gonna take the bag, and I'm gonna be happy with it. Like regardless of the fact you still thought about me, you went out your way and did something that you ain't have to do. Mm. Just like I ain't but had to give you the five hundred dollars. Yeah. That's like thank you. Uh, I appreciate mm -hmm. you. You just want me to be like, oh, thank you. Yes. I, mm -hmm. throw that. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But I ain't. It, you probably liked it more than me, so that's why you were excited to gift it. Mm -hmm. No, I just yeah. thought about you. Okay, look. But what's the most <laughs> expensive gift that you ever bought for a man? This for the woman. Most expensive gift. What was it? You and said how this much? For the, who? for the woman. Oh. Most expensive gift. <clears throat> a birthday dinner. How much that cost you? Too damn much. What's too damn much? <laughs> too damn much. Did he want a dinner? Birthday dinner? dinner for two. Where was the dinner? Where y'all eat? Um, Capitol Grill. Dinner How much was two? it? We need a we private need a room and all. We need a figure. Mm, it was in the stacks. That was a gift on him. He wanted to be there, or you wanted it was to a be surprise. there. Huh? It was a surprise. Yeah, that was your. That was that was for you. That was. But that's still, still a gift. It's still a gift. It's still a gift. What's something? Like it's still a gift. Yeah. Like that way back yeah. then, we were just <laughs> talking about. Yeah, for you. Right. Yeah, so back what? We what's something? About. Give me them three bands. <laughs> <laughs> we could have yeah, ate a cup of bread for three hundred dollars and ate good as shit. You So. Name something that you actually that was for like him. Material, okay. Yeah, like you purchased for him, and how much was it? Oh, probably like a game for this, you know, for the game system. How much was it? About fifty dollars. Yeah. Okay, but you the one talking about your um, uh, you'll take the <laughs> like. Fifty dollars was the most expensive <laughs> gift. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you talking that shit? Yeah. <laughs> Mm. It was the most expensive gift. Yeah. The most expensive gift I ever bought was a MacBook Pro, and that was six hundred dollars. Okay, okay. That's the same price tag. Yeah. Okay. Um, it just, but that. Why you say the amount? Um. Trying to get like a number. Yeah, like because Cause what, 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 what would need to Um. But I what? Two total different things, but both like like that bag. And then whatever you said. Yeah. But so let me bags. let me ask you this. Let me, Apple MacBook Pro. Yeah, let me ask you this though. But What's no, the most I, expensive gift a man ever gave you, and what was the estimate it's amount not, that you can recall? Money. I said six hundred. Mm. I paid six hundred. A bag can be six hundred. Hold on, these. Okay. The fuck yeah. are you trying to say? So um. Things cost the same. The next question is. What What's the most expensive gift a man ever bought you, and if you can give a rough estimate, how much it cost? Um, I got a bag. <laughs> and what was how much? Like was three hundred dollars. Three hundred. Yeah. Okay, and you spent fifty. That was, I mean, fifty was your most expensive. Yeah, gift because gift you asked me you what I wanted, okay. and I asked you what you what wanted. About, so what about it ain't you, my Linda, fault. Uh, um, the most expensive <laughs> gift I'm gonna say is the Michael Kors watch that I got, and I wanna say it was like four hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. And okay, you got top. Um, and when you topped him. And that shit. Well, it wasn't him that gave it to me. Yeah, I know. I mean, well, you, 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 you may be good at giving <laughs> gifts. This was before that. Nisi over here, on the other hand, 
No, because I'm an everyday giver. Like uh, I go to the store and just buy it. random shit uh-huh. for you. Like instead of you things know, you just, think he was instead of just this. getting a bundle <laughs> thing. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But you mm-hmm. still got a what six three hundred dollar purse and you spent fifty dollars on a mat. You asked y'all, y'all me what worst, I wanted. Y'all, y'all the worst <laughs> at giving gifts you asked to me men. What I, because, That's why you see us on Christmas is, getting socks and because and what do men? Yeah, like what do y'all like? That's like super expensive. Like you want me to buy you a pair? Uh, just give us the money. Fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred dollar jeans. You want me to buy fifteen hundred dollar jeans? I would your man like types of gifts. I was about to say I get good yes. gifts. I've gotten shoes that cost five, six hundred dollars. I've gotten mm-hmm. jackets. Same here. But my, you my, think my. y'all men's shoes, y'all feet big as shit, so y'all shoes automatically expensive. Exactly. Well, I, can I, can I, can I can go get a pair of Jordans for a hundred dollars. <laughs> I still wear kids. Just give me the money. Um, like, but the, I don't think was that's a gift, thoughtful. A good gift, like I was starting starting my detailing business, and uh, just off bucks, been three months within a relationship with this lady, and she gave me eleven hundred dollars. No, I mean to buy my generator. Okay. And she gave me the money. I I ain't even asked for it. No, I mean she knew what I needed, and eleven hundred dollars off the bat. No, I mean, ain't go bad. Just gave it to me. How much? Yeah, but it? what's no, the man. difference? That's, it's she, a big difference. If she would have bought, if she would have bought it, you would have been happy. Would've, nah, I probably would have want the red one. She bought the blue one. What the fuck? <laughs> and then now, because I'm being honest with you, hey, I wanted the, I wanted the blue one, and you bought the red one. She, can you, can we go return it? That's awkward. Now I got to no, deal with not. something where if you would have just took me with you and say, look, I know you need this, pick, pick it out. And no, I man, oh, just give me the money. Maybe. It's the just, thought that she even heard you talking about you wanted it. And yeah, she but I wanted, out, the, I wanted and the blue one. She went out on her own and got it for you. And then for you to say, oh, yeah, I, I mean, I get it. If you want the blue one, she got the red one. I definitely get that. I agree with you on that. I ain't holding you from that. Yeah, but but don't say, oh, I'd rather, get, I'd rather get the 1100 than you buying it. Like, you didn't even know that she was going to buy it. No, we'll definitely be grateful. You ain't even know. That's what we're saying. We'll be grateful. But situation. your women. In a situation where I said I wanted a thing and you got me the thing, I'm, mm. I'm grateful Absolutely. in the same mannerism that I would be if I got it. If I ain't know. Mm-hmm. And today but, you go get it. Yeah. yeah. Like me going to get it wouldn't have changed that for me. Thank mm. you. But within the bound of just random shit, when you get gifts and it just be stuffed and it most of the time, like I say, for for men, we be looking at it like, oh, thank you. But yeah, but and give you a hug and a kiss. But now we so exactly <laughs> with the rest of the shit that the other bitches boy type shit. Hey, but yeah, so right. for the fellas, um, Y'all tell me. me hey, fellas, tell me some <laughs> shit. I'm not buying nigga I'm still buy my man stuff, but I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy the way that I like to buy. I'm just gonna yeah. randomly do so it. So tell me, tell me something I mean, for the fellas. Random stuff that I like, then cool. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Know, like, you like, person, stuff. But like, you go to the store, you get my favorite candy or some shit. Like, that's cool that's shit. Fire. But yeah. we appreciate. Shelly V said he throwing that shit in the back. Right. Like, nah, we with the rest of the stuff that the girls got. Yeah, the, the we get. It's just. What you want me to do? Them Jump pay- up and down? Yeah. Be happy. I'm saying you're going to be, I am, but you, y'all want me, you want somebody to express their happiness how you would. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not you. Yeah. But, because we both, what you actually, we, we actually know you want. We ain't testing the waters. Uh, oh, this look cute. I'm going to buy this for my man type shit. Nah. We ain't, we, we know what the fuck you want, and oh we're going to go God. ahead and buy it. Hey, with clothes. It be real hit or miss with y'all. Man. Uh, like it be, it, it's know. mostly a miss. <laughs> like 80, 90 percent a miss. Yeah. Like most of the time the stuff y'all buy, we only wear it cause y'all broke. Cause you got it. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's true. I'm mm-hmm. telling you. <laughs> <the lesson>. mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it is <laughs> red. <laughs> like <laughs> uh, every once in a while y'all get some shit and we be like, oh, Right, that okay, okay. Mm. But for the most part, most of the shit y'all pick out, we be like, mm. y'all be like, no, you're going to look cute in it. So, <laughs> so mm. fellas, tell me, um, what's some, a gift that you got received from a woman and she was just, she wanted you to go crazy over this shit. Like she had great confidence and this shit didn't mean a damn thing to you. Like why <laughs> in the hell she even bad it? 
<laughs> but I don't like gifts. <laughs> I feel like gifts be my money anyway. That's what I'm saying. Give me the money. Like, That's my love. Like, give me you money, and you go buy some little with the money I gave shit. you. I'm like, just keep it, cause I bought it anyway. I mm-hmm. remember some gift that you can't give me. Like, like don't don't buy me shit, cause I bought it. Like, do something else. Some money can't buy. Yeah, like I don't don't buy me no shirt, yeah. and then I probably don't even like it. And I'm gonna feel like that shit just rotating. You could have bought you something, and I would have been more happier. Yeah, that shit would be crazy. It, <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. yeah. That would be for real, like, for real. Yeah. What you can? Only way is if it's something I can't get myself. That's when that shit be like, oh, thanks, pop, mm-hmm. pop. But if it's some random shit, thank you. Or or some shit that I put, like, I prioritize things. So, all right, after I get this done and this done, I'm going to get this. But... I'm still working on this, and you pop up with the third option, and like my what I was going with third, yeah, and you little popped little. up with that. You already eliminated this. Bet I appreciate that, and we appreciate anything, but but fuck, I'm just saying this was a power move right here. Now, man, you you gonna you gonna get that money back ten times fold. You are gonna get a gift ten times better than that, and then you are gonna come with your next gift with a socks. Pair of socks and gloves, and you know what I mean? It's so we shit like, damn, this how you follow up? Mm-hmm. Nah, but I appreciate those things. On the clothes come in clutch. <laughs> nah, man. Yeah. 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 You got fucking hole in your big toe, but you don't want to go buy no socks, but you got all these socks. Buy me socks. Yeah. Yeah. They got me. Like when I need socks, don't mm-hmm. give me like some colorful ass. These are cute socks. No, give me socks. That's so weird. Like a pack of white socks. That's so weird. I don't want no. Well, we look g- cute. You don't think? Nah, I just need socks. Hey, acknowledge I'm the comments, y'all. What we got in the comments? Uh, Sade said, some women will give you the bare minimum and want the world. Uh-huh. Gloria That's said good. she just like pink and she yeah. like matching socks. Uh, yeah, I like good socks. Buy her some paint. Oh, tell her to paint her house. That's it. Um, got in the pink. For for my last question, I'm gonna give you time. Um, oh yeah, I ain't saving y'all gifts. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. What's y'all what, what, yeah, that, it was on. Yeah, y'all, y'all yeah. want to answer that? We can keep it going. Yeah, no, yeah what's the gift? The best. No, no. I, I said, the what's the worst gift you got? Uh-oh. Gotten from a woman, but she thought it was top of the line best. Like she, you was gonna go crazy <laughs> over this. Uh-oh. shit. And you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, but you looked at it, it was like you had to play it off. Like, ah, oh, baby, baby, baby. Oh, always wanted one of these. <laughs> I'd be grateful. Throw that shit right at the... But nah, all right, uh, for Chris to get ready, I'm going to move on to one more. Have you ever felt like you overpaid for an ex? Huh? Overpaid? Yeah, overpaid in a sense where, like... Have you ever not felt like it? Man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I be... Uh, I don't feel like it depends. It, is. it depends. Uh, because I look at if you want I look to. at what they respond to. If they say the last nigga been treating them like shit, in order for me to keep you, is I gotta treat you like shit. If I'm not that person that's like that to treat somebody like that, I can't really fuck with you. But I'm gonna smash and keep moving. But niggas would try to like if. They say, why milk the cow when you can have it for free? I mean, uh, why buy the cow when you can milk it for free? So, you already smashing. She letting you smash and without commitment. So, are you now going to make a commitment to her type shit be- just to keep smashing? No, you're already doing it. So, would you buy the cow and milk it for free? Have you ever felt like you overpaid for a next? Maybe married someone that... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, just dealing with somebody, giving her more than the last dude gave her, but she she accepted that. I only had three girlfriends. Yeah, I I got a good uh, about uh, four or five. I don't know. I can I can get a good feeling for people even when they put on the front. I I mean, I, I guess the only person I could probably feel like that about is my baby mother. I overpaid by giving her a child, but mm. that was accidental. <laughs> Well, yeah. Damn, but, but, y'all are 
going for the juggy. Was it was it the first her first child? <laughs> yeah. True. I wouldn't say that overpaid though. I mean, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, but um I would say in the sense where she 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 had a baby already. She got a child, but in order for her to for you to have um for her to have your child, she expect marriage. She want you to marry her. But the last dude ain't have to marry her to get the child. No, I mean that's like an overpay. I'm overpaying. I like have a child with you, even if you say something wild to me like that. Like we together. I mean, the circumstances of me wanting to have a child gonna be wild in general, just because my situation <laughs> already has been wild. No, I'm using it as an example. That's like saying. an overpayment. That I gotta commit to like you with merge when like the last thing I ain't have to. I'm not doing too much for somebody. Like you, you, you get a vibe for a person. Like how you meet a person, how they act, how they respond to certain shit. You try your hand that first couple times, and they don't. You know, you talk, you figure them out. So at the end of the day, if you start playing the church role or you start, oh, you, you gotta do this, that, and the third before mm. you get some pussy from me. We longevity people. Like, I'm going to do what's convenient for me when it's convenient for me. If going out with you was convenient for me at some point, I might go out with you. Mm. If that leads to me getting some pussy from you, cool. Yeah, but ain't I'm no not about to you. overshoot or do nothing mm -hmm. crazy to try to, nah, I'm good. Yeah. That's for people you already got something going with. What you, uh, how you feel uh, about this, Dion? Um, have you ever felt like you overpaid for an ex? Nah, because it's hard for me to overextend. Uh, like, I, if I if I'm paying, like you said, for ex, I'm paying for the experience. No, I ain't talking about like currency necessarily. I'm just saying like she required you to do more than you the last did too much for her guy in general. Yeah. Oh. But she gave she. <laughs> She coming to the table with doing everything she did for the last guy, and but she expect more from you than she than the last guy gave. Have her. you ever wiped a rose? <laughs> oh man, no, that ain't. <laughs> it's men out here like that. So my resume, man. Yeah, so, but nah, I mean, that's what I mean by overpayment. Sometimes too. I mean, yeah, but you, you want to get in this? You, you might get a joint. She might not, you know, have a name yet. Next mm. thing you know, she was your girl for three, four months. So I break up, find out she going the whole team here. Like, dang. Yeah. Shit happened. Anything <laughs> you do. <laughs> when, when they but that mean you overpaid because you bond her up. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. When niggas was smashing on the joint and you wiped her up, you overpaid, bro. Everybody was hitting that joint like for free. You was even hitting it for free. Now you wiped her up. I mean, why bad a cow when you can milk it for free? Like you want to take ownership of this? If I'm, if I've been renting this car the whole time, everybody renting this car, and you just want to buy it now and take it off the market. But I mean, it's kind of different. It depends on the vehicle. But no, nah, it's like that's a rental car. It's a bit of rental <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. Like niggas grab buckets for a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's it's enough to get me over. But I ain't committing to this joint. I don't expect it to be here for you know what I mean as an investment. That's what everybody know. Yeah. Uh, Talk it for a little bit mm -hmm. till you find better. Um, but y'all don't think females get go through the same thing? Yeah. The, With the, dudes? Yeah, that's the question you responded that's, to that that's nigga what? and told him you had a boyfriend. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> have, you, have you ever felt like you overpaid for an ex? Yeah. I felt Give like I was too into it than he was. Yeah. He ain't overpaid. He was just you. Was nah, I was just too into it. I should have been. What did you man. give him, man? What did he give you? Type. Me, I was just me, and he was just oh, he doing overpaid. him. <laughs> he was he just overpaid. doing you him. You just came for no, fuck. What, what about you, uh, Lily? I, got, I, I don't even really got a comment. I got a question. Mm -hmm. Cause you saying, um, what the fuck did you just say? You, you feel said, like you overpaid in a relationship, yeah, and not uh, just like financially. She coming with everything that she gave the last person, but she expecting more from you. What if it's not even her expecting more from you? It was exactly what she expected from him, but he didn't give that to her, so she's mm -hmm. looking for what she looked for in him and you. She stayed. Exactly. She left. Eventually. 
Yeah, because she wanted to see if it was going to happen. It didn't happen, so she left. Okay, but, okay, did What's did different? this person give her, what did he give her? I mean, was they just boyfriend, girlfriend? Did they have a child together? Do, like, it uh, could be any circumstance. So, let's just say, um, like, use my example where you gave that man a child. And now, I mean, and y'all sing, I mean, y'all just boyfriend, girlfriend. You gave that man a child, but now your next dude, your man that you with, you expecting him to marry you. How you know she didn't have, expect her baby father to marry her? But Some he didn't, and you gave that child Time to him. Will only tell us Listen, you gave that child to him. He didn't marry you. Whether you wanted it or wanted it or not, you didn't require that. How many people? How many females in today's time get married pregnant? So how you know that wasn't the expectation then? Well. Yeah. It say don't marry before you curry. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, so if you 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 didn't marry before you curry, that was on you. So you gave this man a child, and he didn't. You didn't require him to marry you. I mean, I understand what she's saying because let's say within the bound of that circumstance, like she said, her expectation was that they was gonna get married. They rocking out and they having a relationship. She wind up getting per, I mean, pregnant. Mm-hmm. Somehow they wind up breaking up and shit. So real quick, now, she deal with the next dude. Now she wants you to wear condoms because her last situation, this was what was supposed to happen or what she thought was gonna happen. Mm-hmm. What we talked about it just ain't happening. I get that. And I'm gonna add this extra precaution to make sure that this don't never happen without me getting. Yeah, see, that'd be. Yeah, I I get that, but look, if. A job gave you an offer letter. They they want want to hire you. They gave you an offer letter, and then you went to go buy shit before you even got even started with them. Got a paycheck or nothing. You was expecting that this job is yours, and then they just redraw their offer. Now uh, you expecting the next job. You gonna expect something from them? Like you was expecting this, but you didn't. Do the safety requirement to make sure you it's not secured. I mean, people cut count their ducks before they hatch all the same. Yeah, so that'll be that's on you. Like you, I, I was watching the Martin episode mm-hmm. before they got the lottery ticket that they won. Uh, they went to go splurge and buy everything, pool mm-hmm. table, motorcycles, all that. He done dropped a bag and then found out everybody in the town got a piece <laughs> of that drink yep. and they had to sell that shit. Who who that falls on? That falls on. Yeah. Them. Mm-hmm. You you expected this, but you should have. Uh, no, I mean, you married before you curry. I mean, life and definitely got So it. now you ain't married before you curry Your with this guy. Your parents married before they curry? No. Nah. Right. I don't know. They don't got nothing to do with me. I'm just saying. Did you and and look what happened. You created your children? No. But a man knows. So but a man knows if he's gonna marry that woman or not. Yeah. I mean, I if, if I can, if I can. Yep. It's well, black. It's so why put a baby so look, in there and not You talking it. about you no, talking no, about a lack of discipline. So just it's you lack discipline. That's what it is. So but you you going against the things that you you heard or was taught. We 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 all heard Murray before you curry. Uh mm-hmm. know what I mean so but we chose to ignore. We you right. don't have discipline. So you, we can't make things that's Rules that was set in stone is rules for a reason. And we go against it, and we want that to be normal lies. We want this to be normal. Uh, don't expect so much. Don't expect me to think. Don't expect me to marry before I curry so I can secure my family. Like, we we solid. It'll make it stronger. It, it, if the man want to leave, it's going to take a lot. A man not leaving a woman unless she just straight up trash. That's not 100%. And, and that's women, women leaving, women work. leaving, women leaving that more that women. Men. Who you think over. leave more, women or men? Women. Women leaving men at an 80% rate and marriage and everything. Like, and y'all got the insensitive to everything. So when you have a child with this man, you can put him on child support. No problem. He He's done. Uh, Merge, he paying alimony, child support, all, all types of shit. Y'all win at the end of the day. So why should a man do this if I can get all this that I want? I want a kid. She ain't require murders from me. So you you should require some way you can take care of yourself. Now as a single mother, you live in a project. 
your man living in a hill somewhere, you in the projects and your child ain't getting taken care of, you struggling. You was the dude though. What's your purpose in wanting to get her pregnant without mm -hmm. dealing with her if she telling Let's you just say the nigga with lack of discipline. He don't give a fuck. Right. And he got seven other kids over here that he don't take care of that she knew about. I, what if she didn't? What, I, even still, within the bound of that, that be you were grown ass man taking care of your fucking kid. With, that's crazy. Within the bound of that, I feel like what would still be the issue if she's saying or she won't have the 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 principles and staying on business to a point where she's saying, "Nah, you still got to strap up with me because I want to get married." She dealing mm -hmm. with him knowing he got X Y and Z going on, mm -hmm. and she he, this dude number two, she already got the baby. She not created some standards for herself, like. It, at that point, it, it's no issue because either she gonna bump into the dude that she want and she gonna get what she want out of it, mm. or she not. Even if you a stand up dude and you run into her, if your proposition is you already had a child out of wedlock, so mm. I wanna have a baby with you without having to be married with you. What's your proposition? What, what's your standard? Like, why would your, you know, what you saying mean anything? At that point, if I'm her, I leave you. Like, but people don't. People don't be trying to say it like that. Like they don't be trying to see. Like, oh, okay, maybe the man sold her a dream either. No, I, hey, that but shit that's happened. life. Yeah. Be life. But that's the thing with project, being the, the father out of the day. home. So what the the, the man out of the home? Who, how is this girl? Who fault is it? Who will fall on it? I, I believe it fall on the father. Can I it get into the other part of pregnancy? Because I wanted to talk about it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Anyway. Because, uh, I mean, we can't make excuses for motherfuckers that don't think. Because I made plenty of mistakes. And who got to pay for those mistakes? Me. And if I'm not good, my kid's not good. The people that's around me not good. So it's like, oh, I made a mistake. Uh, you want a badge of honor for your mistake that you made. That's you not fucking always shit true, up. Because life is a big source of everything. And especially in some of these points that, like, what I want to talk about anyway. Because, mm -hmm. like, there's a bunch of celebrities right now that's pregnant. Uh, Steph and Aisha having their fourth baby. Let's mm -hmm. say she break up with him. Even without alimony, she can still go bag a nigga and, and be rich. Mm -hmm. Like, it, 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 it's rich women out here, too, who, like, look at Ciara and, and, and Russell Wilson. But those, and like, the... Somebody came and took care of more future. Okay. Uh -huh. Playing football and with him and all. <laughs> but you think you think you think he re so she happy about it. like it's rare. Yeah. No, and no, but do you no. think Sierra Listen, respect Joey, that man? Joey, like at the end Joey, of the day, Joey they get what they want. And, but and Tate did. It's the same example. And you just, he just did the right, same right. thing. On earth. That's that's what I was about to say. Be speaking on it so much is because it's rare, which means it's not the norm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and that that's the outliers. So think, it's like now you banking on because you don't you don't look like Sierra. Sierra beautiful. She got money and she got access to these men that's one and resources. Thing, but I don't think you don't have that. But you want to live like her. You can find a nigga that's willing to be taking care of you and your kids. That's not rare. You see that shit every single fucking day. But do they respect oh, that know. man Where though, you bro? See that? Everywhere. Where? You got so many blended families. You got now, endless. You, I, I've seen more dudes. But do they respect that man, of, though, bro? Do they respect that man? At the end of the day, that's what. That man if they, because they that don't. Man is helping take care of their kids. Care. Have, how, how, how often do you see? You say you so see a lot. How often do you see them women respect that man? Often, exactly. If you're that man, I'm, I'm talking to him. Y'all hey, can't speak I don't for don't him. Feel like one thing equal to other for with that. I'm just that, saying that's going to always depend be on the person. It's a, it's but a I feel like women will give you respect for taking care of the kid. Mm -hmm. Like it might be some aspects of the relationship or the personality that she is that may be disrespectful towards you or your person. But I think when it comes to the kid, she's still going to respect the fact that you are a better father to her child than the damn father is. Man. Like, that's going to be a thing that... Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> I don't know Bullshit. what type of females you've been around that don't respect the man. Okay, so is it is it respectful child. that uh, that's right. this this man taking care of uh, her, her child, he coming in as the step pop, right? Is it respectful that she's still fucking, even though she curry him with respect, but she's still fucking a baby father? Baby that's father's not, still getting That's it. not respect. 
That's not respect. Because I, I know multiple man. cases I like that. You know I mean, still, still smashing baby daddy, <laughs> but this man right here, and why I'm smashing uh, this man watching my child type shit. Like, then you don't that's respect respectful. that man? No. Exactly. No, so that's what I'm saying. Y'all saying, oh, it's, nah, it, it's, it's many cases where that woman ain't respect that man. It's, she you might... She might don't disrespect him like to his face verbally or things like that, but she do things that she don't mentally she don't have no respect for him. So she mm. do what the fuck she do. Leave him in a house I, with the kid while she go clubbing with the friends and shit. I just said. Let's let her with her friends. Like I said, that's that's depending on the person for one, but for two, that's still two whole separations of things. She might still be a whore. But she still may respect the fact that she can leave her child with you. That's probably why she do it. She don't leave her child with anybody. Who that benefit? <laughs> she benefit. It may not be benefit. It's a come it up for. Her. It's still you it's doing a it. Come up I, I, again. Yeah, you you taking one thing and making it it's something a else. Come up again. Like I said, she gonna probably respect the fact that you take care of her child better than the father. That, that Who, I ain't even say better than the father and shit. Like why we we because doing? Because a lot of the father's not in the life. I'm toxic. Somebody say, yeah, he toxic and used to toxicity. Nah, hey. Ooh. Most, I, don't, I don't even deal with women like this, but we can't be oblivious and act like... See, y'all women tend to get on here and act like motherfucking... And, and men do it too. Act like y'all... Since you not living this life, you ain't have experience in this. You forget that your, your people's around you, your family around you, you see this shit all day. Yeah. This shit is the norm. And y'all act like, no, no... Nobody, we all respect That's stepdaddies. No, the fuck you and don't. And her boyfriend take care of all five of them. Yeah, that's... that's and she respects but, that man. What, I'm, what we saying is, like, uh, Charlie V said, that's red. It's, that's the, for the outliers. Now, how many single mothers out here, they, they're single. They don't have a man to take care of. You, you talking about single mothers. Hold on, Charlie They They single. Shawty said, yes, they respect that man. Rashida oh, said, it say. really depends on if they're with them to settle or because they genuinely love him. If they don't respect him, I'm assuming they settle in. Mm -hmm. They love him. They respect him for taking care of the kids, too. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was going to mention something that, um, that piggyback off that where, damn, um, read, that, read that again for me. She said, if they respect them, or if they genuinely want to be with them, then they... I, I got it. Now, the guy that genuinely want to be with that woman, we we in our early 20s and all that like shit. I'm woman genuinely want to be with him. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you this scenario because this is what I wanted to ask earlier. So, I'm, I'm the good guy. I've been all in your... Um, I mean, you know I like you. I'm, I'm a good guy. You, you fuck with me. Uh... He 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 more your flavor though. I'm good for you, but this your this your this your flavor right here. You going for what you're attracted to. And then he done got you pregnant and you went on, got another man, but let's say he didn't get you pregnant. You were just dealing with these motherfuckers. They got you in your prime years. And then now you 35 years old in my DM saying, hey, big head uh, giving me a chance now. <laughs> Why I'm getting a chance now? That's survival. They ain't out of respect. They respect the fact that I'm a good guy, yeah, but they not really with me for me. I mean, I mean because they you think in like that Russell me type Wilson, shit. Sierra situation? Fuck no, she, Russell. She, she, <laughs> you crazy? Well no, I'm saying no. Hold on, I'm asking. Do you think that she with him because that's who she genuinely want to be with, or do you think she with him? Bro, that's she man. You all right? Look, check this. Talk about the normal person. The way he see her dressed that's and the, hold on real quick. That's the same circumstance he was explaining. I'm just but saying check a this. girl who get with the dude who not the cool dude no more, who not the fly dude but I'm no saying, more versus Sierra being with well the dude. Off. He's well off. Money aside, uh, money aside, no, same situation. Ain't no money aside. Everyday same. shit going on, they got shit in their life. It ain't gonna be that simple. They can be perfect without each other. That's a Choice they can just now we can just do what we want in life. You might you can mm -hmm. hang with me for the rest of my life. I don't need nothing else. I just need somebody to hang around with. If you don't got it in life, you money. gotta focus on your life. They already well off. They don't have no other problems except mm -hmm. to choose a person to stay with. Yeah, y'all. But but check this though, real quick. Have y'all real lives. quick? C 
to your but address. They're already well off. You're not listening to the word. Well off. They don't have yeah. to work. Y'all worried, worried about, about the money, money nah. too. But look, much. No, li- li- answer me. I mean, tell me if this respect. Sierra dressed more prerogative and twerk and all that shit with Russell Wilson. Every picture that I ever seen with her in future, she looked like a wife. That is not That's damn true. Crazy. That football. is not true. Cause I can put up some pictures. Pull up, I can pull, pull up some pictures had had, of her dressing had had all scandalous when she was with Future. She I really feel future. like I really she feel like Future more than her husband. No. She you crazy. No, I really shit. feel like I feel like now. How? I feel like she, now. Her as a white she's twerking on cars and all that shit and come It's in, a video. She's an uh, entertainer. She just, she just she's an entertainer. To, nah, ain't no entertainer shit. So you telling me if she's an entertainer, she's not supposed to do that? That don't mean you gotta come out ass naked. She you a whole ass wife. Naked. You a whole now, that wife. outfit, now I think you a whole that's what you're talking about. You a I whole didn't wife. agree with Fuck that. Fuck if you were entertainer or not. You a whole wife. And a mom. And a mom. Fuck is you talking about? You an entertainer. Uh, Kim Kardashian was an entertainer, right? Hell no. She no, nah, she is an entertainer. She entertained she no that motherfucking video tape. She's <laughs> no an entertainer. She got big off that drape, right? <laughs> So that's okay because she can do whatever she do because no. she's an entertainer. I'm talking you're about a, whole a professional wife. You're a whole entertainer. Wife. A professional. You're a wife first, though. Sierra is a singer, a dancer, choreographer, da 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 da. So mm-hmm. yeah, if her if in her video she got to shake some ass. If no, that's she in don't got to. She so when she wasn't to. just saying that. She chose to. And, and, and another thing, Sierra wrote a song that went viral. Uh, she wrote a song talking about what for the single lady something. Uh, Women that don't need no man type shit, but you got a whole fucking husband. I don't know that. That love you. And she, <laughs> she wrote a letter to, what it was, a uh, prayer to God or some shit for the man. But she telling y'all single ladies, fuck that nigga, he ain't shit. And, you have but to she got a whole husband. Audience. She got a whole husband. She's that an entertainer. Just, She's catering to her audience. I know niggas that oh, rock about shooting, shooting and, and drugs that's and all poison. that other stuff, and they don't even do none of that. Yeah, but that make it cool, so it's normal. It's that, entertainment. That's cool. It ain't. It's it entertainment. Be. And, and Nobody said it was cool. It's shit, entertainment. That's what's wrong with the world. It's talking about entertainment, but y'all try to live that as real life. Y'all know reality TV show is not reality, but y'all copying this shit. Want to be like this shit, and this all just scripted. Y'all, with black people, us as black people, we got the most. That's all we give a fuck about is entertainment. We go up here, we want to see the most ratchetest shit. It gotta just be straight entertaining. But what um reality TV show? What um white version or Asian version of fucking loving hip hop? The baddies, east and west, and all that shit. What version big do the brother. white people have? They be rap, they be scrapping Who? Big Brother. Yeah, big Brother. Big Brother. That's What's a the? that's a um Fucking Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. Okay. That's that's, that's one, reality. That's it's that's reality one. TV. Palm that's color that's people on that that's 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 that. How many? I'm, I'm, I'm just watch, saying, I don't but watch us black people, our shit just gotta be shoot 'em up, bang bang, ass twerking, and all that shit. The poison that you wouldn't want your fucking kids to watch. True. But y'all sitting up here saying this shit is cool. It's entertainment. Nah, this shit not entertainment for you. This entertainment for your young ones. Hmm. Y'all, you, you dumb as shit to be this old to want to follow this shit. This shit, this not for you because it's your not mind developed. It's your, not for the your kid. Your mind, it is for the kid. It's not. Because they're going to grow up and grow grow up and be like this. They and they gonna it. They're going to nurse their youngs to grow up and be even fucked up. But you as an adult, it. your mind is developed. They, So it's like you can watch certain things. And you know not to do in real life and all that. This is not targeting you. They want the youth. They they coming for the youth. This music and all that shit. This for the youth. But that's when the but parents need to stop that. being a parent. The parent got to stop it. The parent got to do the. Yeah, y'all, y'all giving this, all this. Just because but this look, is here does nah, not mean. But you you you, you saying you saying the parent got to stop it. But the parent saying it's entertainment. Why not? It's, it's entertainment. entertainment for adults. So my kid can watch this. It's entertainment no, it's not. for adults. Nah, it's true to the Come game. on, man. Y'all crazy as shit, yeah, man. Not gassing it. Cause Ain't nobody like... saying he gassing it, but again, it starts in a household. <laughs> if you're not parenting how you're supposed to be parenting, that's on you. That's but if like, you don't know I shit, talk, you never, you don't even have parents. And I had my like... fourth graders coming in talking about fucking Big Mouth to the point I had to go fucking oh, watch yeah, it. That... And I had to go on Class Dojo and tell my parents, like, hey, look, this what they're watching it's not appropriate. Y'all need to monitor. It's all about the house. It starts at home. Absolutely. I will say it it definitely start starts at home. home. Everything but starts at home. In the technological age, man. And exactly. kids got phones and. But if you're, like, if, as a parent, if you're you, giving. I got them, parental you're control. Tra- exactly. Mind. You yeah, have right. to yeah, fucking they do can't what you're supposed to do. Screen time, all that shit. Um, it yeah, starts. Danny, with I don't the think uh, my girl shot. They like you. 
Oh, nobody in I don't think don't Shade fuck. like you. Hey, Shade her, is like. Tell her why she ain't here. Not too much of my friend of Shade, but. Why, why she ain't here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, you, you ain't gonna like the shit I gotta say. <laughs> and I ain't here to be like. You signed it from a different angle, though. Like, you're right. signing like they should be on top of their kids, but he's signing it as if. Nah. If the parents think it's just entertainment, they don't feel the need to police everything. Exactly. So that's so again, no, but you know it what your child should watch. Listen. But you know what your child should and should listen. not watch. Listen. That's on them. Hold on, because my parents. point was still this. Outside of either one of those, at the end of the day, let's say you do the right thing, you teaching your child right, your child go to school. Your mm -hmm. child is going to learn shit from other kids. Y'all mm -hmm. talking about you got child safety shit on your phone. Cool. Mm -hmm. You don't think kids smart enough to get around that? You but, don't think kids gonna show their friends the shit that they watch when they at lunch when they on the mm -hmm. playground and shit absolutely so you can lock it from your child phone but you ain't lock it from the other child phone yeah so now that child gonna introduce your child to it mm -hmm. like That's so like, but this the this the thing this is why it starts at home if you instill these characteristics and you teach your child what's between wrong good and bad and you know as an adult as a father you know good and bad so you teaching this to your child your child gonna go to school and like uh uh for instance one of one of my guests say you know her brother a muslim his kids muslim no no christmas or none of that all these kids going to school they celebrating christmas but the kids they young i mean no more than 10 and shit. two of them man they not they not with that they not they not into what the kids into because it's been instilled in them this what we do. This our culture. This is why we I think don't do this. It starts at home. Um, I grew up Muslim, and growing up and going to school and holidays and shit happen. Guess what? Kids give you shit, and yeah. guess what? You're happy. You're a child. You want candy. You want yeah. gifts. So in this like, instance, um, not to cut you off, the the kid, the teacher said, add something to the kid, and they was gonna give them gifts. They can't even accept gifts for these um, these days and whatnot, and the kids didn't accept it straight up told him no um uh, we rashida don't we said, don't celebrate this yeah read her rashida that. said with that same idea that women shouldn't ever be sexy in public because kids might see it mm -hmm. i i agree why you why so you, you telling dressing? me i can't wear a cute little dress or something i mean because a kid might walk past and see me what what, what was what was she what saying you wear he didn't she said <laughs> something <laughs> sexy like Sexy is different. Like sexy is when a man say uh, you sexy, meaning I'm saying you as I want to smash. That's sexy. But I say you beautiful. It hit different. It ain't saying sexy, man. It, it, these words matter. It, it's like sexy is it. The key word in there is sex. Oh no, I think it's levels of everything. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So you I think it's okay to dress prerogative, and you you had a I've not seen um shit. And, Kids graduation with mother's hat on see through. You think that's appropriate? No. So that's they something know, that but, she and, felt was sexy. That, they knew that. And she wore it around kids and nobody ain't saying nothing. There's something wrong with her. Yeah, there's now, something wrong with yeah, her. Yeah, there's something yeah, wrong yeah. with her. But what about and then uh y'all not gonna say it's something wrong with her. Y'all gonna say something wrong with the man that's having trouble with sexual issues and all that and I now he like see you, you with your whole body you out. He's struggling with this, like in church. You got women dressing crazy and shit in church. It's a man in there that's suffering from sex. Uh, maybe he addicted to it. Now he's trying to get help, and the pastor got a BBL. But some people can't. Some people can't help pastor. like how they body shape no, and how certain things. This on this fact. So it's a it's a female myself. pastor with a BBL. Oh no, that's weird. And 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 <laughs> it's women weird. getting it, calling it a <laughs> calling it a Christian BBL. God called her to do that. Come on, bro. It's foolishness out this motherfucker, man. It's foolishness. Exactly. Because it's entertainment. And you can't you can't tell nobody how to do it. Nah, dress sexy and come to a graduation, see through clothes. And, and see how you 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 that's cool not, with it. I don't I don't feel like that's kind of like on the same level. That's just that's just ignorance. This, this, that's just ignorance. Cause why would you show up to your kids event? But like that, that was her question. But if I'm walking, I mean that's what she no, said. No, she's not. She's no. She's just saying in general. She said sexy in front of kids. That's sexy. Y'all specified like that, you like a graduation, graduation or yeah, if I'm walking that's down the street kids. and I'm going to dinner and I have on a sexy outfit. That's that's should I that's not be thing. able to wear that because she I'm said around up kids. here and I'm thick. It's kids in the sidewalk. It's kids that's going to be in a restaurant, okay. so I can't you, dress you like niggas come in a restaurant. Because kids might see it. Exactly. Yeah. That's a public place. Somewhere with so, um, 
it, you at a bus stop, you and your man, and uh, y'all at a bus stop with maybe man, 16, 16 year old kids, and you just tonguing down, kissing, and he grabbing on the ass. That's that's cool uh, in front of some youngins. Oh, this fuck. <laughs> no, no, I mean, you at the bus stop cool. minding your business, and these little teenagers, 16 year olds. Yeah, that ain't that, cool. That, that ain't cool. 16 year olds is still at school doing the Okay, they probably doing so, worse. So it's okay, right? Because what they doing, <laughs> you feel comfortable. That's not comfortable that's doing that. sexy. Y'all missing Why it. Y'all missing it. Why, um, what you about to say about the beach? Yeah. Because the beach I think I know what you about to say. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, the beach is somewhere everybody go. Kids, adults, all that. Mm -hmm. uh, you go to the beach, it's women at the beach. Some women might wear something with a cover up. Some women might wear something, you know, mm -hmm. regular uh, bikini. Mm -hmm. But then you got some women out there with a thong bikini on. You got some women who might want to get in the water and take their top off. Mm -hmm. Like Oh, but it got to be a topless joint though, right? It don't kids, be. if you it know you can do that, you get your ass <laughs> locked up. Everybody gonna call. Or that bitch probably get jumped. I, I seen shit. a, a butt naked woman at Ocean City before as a young. Yeah, but at the end of the day, within the bound of that, like I don't feel like you know you you got the right to tell. I they I agree with that. The beach is the beach. Yeah, I agree with that. That's dressing. And you, that's you, you a family. No, no, it's not. That's the, yeah, that's the uniform you, you wear for. Y'all making a wild. No, y'all aren't listening. Y'all aren't because y'all saying if females are dressing sexy in public, but at a beach, exactly, the beach is a family setting. You got kids there, exactly. They got thong bikini on. But that's the beach. We expect that. Everybody not about to be. Y'all have to put up a beach. Beach. It's all right for the, It's okay to wear thong at the beach, beach, but you can't dress. You can dress sexy at the beach, but you can't dress sexy That's to go crazy. go on a date. You can't wear a little boosie. Tell that sloppy jacket nobody don't like wear the same shit. Ain't nobody gonna call her sexy. Exactly. Okay, so because her body weight is yeah, her body crazy. shape is different, yeah, it's okay crazy. for it's okay for her to wear that's the dress because code. she's not attractive. Sexy because she attractive. If she wasn't, y'all wouldn't be like she's sexy. Time time that's the dress like code. Like, yeah, so so the so the outer shape girl could wear see through to the to the uh, graduation then. Yes, and that's okay. Because they don't find it. They, 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 they don't find it attractive. Totally All right, so y'all don't find it attractive. Y'all already. The fed jump, the fed jump could wear see-through dress to a restaurant. Why would you compare the beach to a graduation? It's still a family setting. No, it's not. It is. A beach is a family setting. You got families at the beach. Not a family setting. It's people graduating from school. That's a child. <laughs> it's children at the beach. People the beach. sexy at the beach. Children, like Nisi said, it's children on oh, the sidewalk. No, man. It's children in the restaurant. It's a song at Disney World that nobody is not saying. <laughs> <it's laughs> like, the beach is where you would do that. What the fuck? So, um, would you say a man that's walking around just... Let's just say strolling, no shirt off. He he feels sexy, no shirt, shirt off. He just walking. It... Would it be an issue with that? He walking past kids just yes. No. But how is it an issue with that when on the beach he have no shirt off? The same reason why it's not okay for me to wear a, cute, a little boosty top uh, when I'm in the graduation, the right? When I'm oh, no, wait a minute, y'all. Why? Wait, y'all. Are y'all listening? Y'all are y'all listening? Keep you just say I'm, I'm about to repeat so exactly it's, it's what he said. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a violation, a but a woman can dress sexy street. to a, a graduation. Hold on, we not even talking about a graduation because you didn't say graduation. A man walking, you said a man walking down the oh, street yeah. with no shirt on, right? Mm -hmm. So if I walk down the street and I got a boosty top on, but my boobs are popped up, women do it. That's a problem. That's right? what we talk you, about. Do you think that's a problem? But he going to the beach with his shirt off, and I'm at the beach in my bikini. What's the what's the difference? We we what's said it's nothing. That's cool. That's the beach. What's the difference? We didn't say yeah, we disagree. So why is it okay for that's him to walk uniform. down? Why is it okay to for him to walk down a public street? With I didn't no say it is. I didn't say. But that was the question that you was asking, right? It's two different things. If you see a man with his shirt off at the beach, you think nothing of it. But you see a man with his shirt off out in the streets. Yeah, he need to put a shirt. You think some of it? That's what we saying. He need to put a shirt. So you y'all talking about beach? A beach was the horrible idea, a horrible idea to bring up because that's it's dress code. You don't go there. I'm not about to go to the beach in this suit. I'm not. 
nobody got anything on that we're wearing at the beach right now. So, we got jeans on. So we're not wearing all, that. So all y'all will let y'all girl go to Ocean City in a thong bikini then, right? That's that's totally fine. No, nah, my that's exactly my girl, what y'all just fucking said. Thong, no, yeah, you said just now okay this is my girl. Bikini. No, get it. They was definitely okay with it. It's the beach, but now they got to go right. It's the beach. That's what you wear at the beach. So now your bitch won't go to the beach. You making some per something that's general personal, man. Can I hear y'all ask the same fucking thing? It ain't my girl. It ain't my girl. You made the same thing I was talking about. Now y'all, now y'all want to just try to get the fact that your bitch can be at motherfucking Ocean City in a thong bikini. Not only your girl, and it's not okay. Fuck no, it's okay or is it not okay? Nigga, it's, it's one not okay in that relationship. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Oh at the God. beach, it's so okay. You want to so the when you in a relationship, you got to get your shit. <laughs> crazy. Y'all sound crazy. Relationship ideas to what's done in public. Yeah, exactly. sound crazy. If I don't want my girl to wear that, and I say, where's a regular two-piece uh, at the beach? That's, that's just like this wear. entertainment. Because if it's okay for you to no, fucking watch you, it and see you, it and have it out there, then it's okay. You miss it. It's either look, okay or it's not okay. Look, it's either okay it. or it's not okay. So look, we know Nigga, women you, naked on oh, the it's beach. It's okay for bitches to wear what they want, but if you got a girl and you tell her you don't like her wearing that, that's what you don't like. Exactly. So what are you saying? I don't think it's okay to go to Ocean you, City in the phone bikini. That's what it is. Let's clarify that to begin with. I wouldn't have never okay going to the. Ocean City, if you want to wear a thong bikini, we got to be in the Bahamas or something, baby. Okay. We got to be overseas how, how, somewhere. How, how, it don't matter where we at. They don't really... do what they want. But it got to be a certain place. You, gotta, you don't want that. You don't want this. Nigga, if you say that, you supposed to know what you got on and what setting you at. Why the fuck would you wear a thong on the sidewalk? It's more likely you will have a thong bathing suit on at the beach. Mm -hmm. More likely, yeah, but is it acceptable? Well, because the whole thing was, is, is it acceptable based on the fact that girls do it because, because it's, it's entertainment? Yeah, well, within the bounds of what y'all yeah. saying, then it's entertainment make it acceptable. It's okay. I'm, I'm that was the whole question to begin with. No, but that's what Let's move on, man. Let's move on, man. Y'all turned the fuck up today, man. Graduation. Shit. Don't even correlate. Shit, don't end that. Nah, for real. <laughs> the shit came from him saying because bitches Good. dress this way because of entertainment. No. Yes, that's no, what he was said. Saying that. It's you said that. Oh, I'm she said Sierra was dressing like right, that for said, entertainment. And it's entertainment. I said it's wrong. Do that make white. it okay? Right. My man said that's it. So that's it's Beyonce. Also. She a wife too. Right. That's right. my whole point. Beyonce a whole a bunch whole of women dress life. provocatively in entertainment. Yeah. Why? Because niggas is deep. Y'all mix it so much. We go way like, off. Okay, so like, all celebrities. Do it make it okay for you to do we it? We got in the comments. All like, celebrities. You no. got she, a whole sex tape. She all celebrities. Right. All celebrities <laughs> aside, I personally have a cousin that is a wonderful wife, but she does like. How you know she a wonderful wife? Because her husband, her cousin, pop that shit about her every single time. Yeah. She's a wonderful wife. They're happy mm -hmm. in their marriage, but she do like boodle off photo shoots, and sometimes she do her so. Like, she take pictures of herself, and she'll post it. Like, it's not too provocative. But, but to that's, some people, that's okay but for to him. some people, y'all would say it's a that's problem. That's okay like, for so him. Okay, that's so, the one he married. Okay. They, they, they so, here with it. They so, locked in. But that go back to, that the, go back to how the But that don't mean I'm going to like it because he's okay with it. I'm but not also, okay with the, with the, the, the next guy okay with it. The internet don't got no age restrictions on it. So now your kid can see it. So now it's the same fucking cycle. Bro, that's what's going on in the world. All money aside. But again, everything y'all saying, y'all okay in certain shit with it. But not okay in certain other shit with it. You keep saying y'all asking what you got to say. Ask your questions. Because you keep saying y'all. I ain't said none of the shit you even just said I said. I said it don't correlate. How is graduation? Even entertainment. And I just That's told cool. you, he brung up that based but on the fact that he said, "Y'all, y'all, I'm saying." He just said, "Y'all." I was general, talking about instead of just graduation. Y'all brought up beach. Beach was all up. Anything you can wear, anything on the beach. It's up to me to bring my kids around this. This what I expect. Ass out, titties out, at cheeks beach. at the beach. Not out when I go outside my fucking door. When I'm taking my kid to school and and the bitch. Walking problem. ass she might be going thong. somewhere or doing It don't matter, bro. That's not that. okay. That's your problem. That's the world. Like, you can't stop other people. That's my problem that she wearing a thong in front of my child. 
walking through it. She, she might be going to a video shoot. I might be going to the Yeah, like, but who, she might know better. Maybe having their cheeks out all day, but y'all don't hear us. That's what I'm saying. And we say it's not okay. And then we treat y'all. Women shouldn't either, but y'all saying something about that. Why y'all ain't saying nothing about the men again? We just did, stuff. and that's your choice no. not to say nothing. You just said we see it and don't say nothing. All right, so what about y'all niggas that wear them gray sweatpants that y'all know showing y'all dick print? <laughs> <laughs> we talk about it. What's the <laughs> exactly. That's what it's okay for y'all to do that That's though, right? Sexy. Where? That's really sexy. A family outside. setting, outside, anything. Y'all, them gray sweatpants that y'all put on. But y'all look. Show your dick print. Exactly. Cause we looking, right? The nah. same reason females wear the shit they but they look, wear, cause they know a nigga is looking. Y'all the one that say that. The fuck? Wearing sweatpants is like somebody with a fat ass wearing jeans, and you still see her figure. That's not wearing a thong or going outside in boxes. That's two different things. You, That's just you, you just it. see it. You miss it. I think we was talking I'm about missing it. sexy yeah, and we I'm just kind of like minimized it too much. I'm missing it. You're not sure me, but I can see your shape. If I walk around in sweatpants and my dick poke and you see it, you just see it. I'm not showing you. That's like if I got on, if you got on jeans and your butt fat and I say her ass fat, I just know it's fat because it's her jeans, but she not walking around in a bikini or a thong and I can oh, see her Yoga ass. pants. I think, that's where, I think that's where everybody got mixed up at with the question that was initially asked is because we kind of like minimized it to just like thongs and bikini. The question was about dressing sexy in the public. Right. Like and uh, graduation public. is yeah. public, right? Yeah, I but okay, that. but wait a minute. So is it, and y'all mentioned beach. That don't correlate. Y'all mentioned somewhere that people go and get naked, have not dressed because the sun beaming on, we come to swim to a place where kids are and you dressing sexy at a graduation. Really? She was With kids, you, you ask, that's okay. Y'all okay, saying that's okay. Problem. And y'all saying we have a problem with bitches on the beach. We telling you, no, it's not a problem. It's not a problem because that's what you do at the beach. But yeah, you come to the I graduation with... the same person walking the graduation, I'm like, why the fuck she got that on? Exactly. It but y'all saying sense, it's okay because she can wear it on the beach. That don't go to I didn't say that. So, <laughs> we, respect that's, what, that's what we've been saying the whole time and shit. But um, we're going to move we on to the next question. topic. <laughs> Because we man. was holding on to that. That is, <laughs> this shit is crazy. Dion felt me over here though. I'm mad. Uh, he's like, I'm move on. Sure you sure ready, Chris? Mark, did you finish? They brought up the beat change. Argue that motherfucker. Say it again. I couldn't hear you. I was saying I can't really answer the question because y'all picking certain shit. Many it's too throwing too much shit. Because yeah, you gotta think about it. At the end of the day, y'all throwing a whole lot of shit the ladies' way, and yeah, at the end, of, like. Well, I just asked it for the niggas that said it's still wrong. If you choose not to say nothing, you just choose not to say nothing. That's not picking and choosing. Yeah, we we give you an answer, and then you saying, but what about this? What about that? And then doing the we same dealing thing with this. Though. No, we answered your question, and then it's like, what about this? We what about this? This twist. Sexy. This twist. <laughs> What about that? This scenario. To go into the beach, Left. dressing in a bikini, to Come being on, in graduation, like, the fuck? We've been all around. All of the verbs was, was included yeah. in being sexy in public. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, that was the uh, premise sir, of all of them. Get right into it, Chris. Uh, question. What is the oldest you would date or slash, and what is the youngest? I was thinking. Man, did you see Tracy Ellis Ross? Like, she, she gets, <laughs> man, it's so bad. Oh, Tracy out here smashing, man. Niggas don't care how old you are. You look good about it, right? So oh, you, all right. You, but the oldest I'm smashing is I, I can't. I can't say, bro. If she, she probably, she probably she's seventy, and she probably still grilling. I'm talking. Ask uh, what's her name? Angela Bassett. Bassett. <laughs> her fine self. The fuck out of here, bro. I don't give a damn how old she is, as long as she of age. You know what okay. I mean? She's legal. Charlie Bill. What's your question? It, what's the youngest? Yeah, that was the second part. Yeah, what's the youngest? Oh, she's legal, but um, <laughs> no, nah, she's legal. It depends. <laughs> Age, like um, legally she legal? now they gotta be twenty one. Yeah, yeah. Um, it depends on where it's like, cause people that's fucking thirty five years old got a mind of a teenager. Mm -hmm. You crazy? And then I know some young girls where eighteen, not not necessarily. Matter of fact, I, I do know an eighteen year old just got accepted to a whole bunch of shit. I ain't like that. But motherfucking shawty, mine up here on like doing better than a lot of old older women that motherfucker I've done dated, type shit. So it depends on that mindset. Now, you, 
some of your girls don't know how to wipe themselves type shit. Know what I mean, like and then some older women that don't. But what's either. the age though? What's age, the it don't matter to me. Like the as long youngest as she's legal. Um, okay, so twenty. With me making her official, mind you, if I make her officially like my girl, she can't be no less than twenty two. Okay. No, and man. the oldest you was, you was you my was oldest, I don't, ain't no cap, no, no oh, oldest, no no right. but I'm talking, y'all saying smash, I mean, shit, it's like 18 year olds that look, got a body and a, a face, it's like, she getting in club. As a grown mind. ass man, yeah, an 18 like, year old is, is you look No, nah, it's some 18 year olds that look fucking 25. She's 18. And you it's some, it's some, exactly, it's 15 year olds that look like they 21. Come on, man. And then because yeah, you she can dress out. sexy and she can do her, her body develop and all that, y'all allow it. But and that's now what's the, y'all wonder what's why your little girl in the fucking club with that bottles with, with, with that ex. Right, thank said, you. That's all I was about to say. Because what is what she look like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop asking more questions. Y'all making it yeah. twisted. Yeah, we need to we need to we need to stick to the topic. Y'all don't add a takeaway from the question. Let's just deal with the it's a rebuttal for everything. I ain't had nothing else. I said, what yeah. was the youngest? Nah, this is your question. <laughs> I'm just saying, motherfuckers, shit be nah, added or take away. What, what's the oldest that you would date or smash? I don't know. It's no age on older. And the youngest? Probably knowing 21. Um, I would say the oldest. And we should say our age. Like, I'm 33, by the way. Like um, in the 50s. And the youngest. Probably like 28. In the 50s. So and if he's 59, I'm he good? 28. Huh? If he's 59, he good? Yeah, if you look good. Oh, okay. Yeah. But the youngest would be someone my age. I don't like dating guys younger you? than me. I'm 28. Okay. Yeah. yeah. For me, I feel like with the oldest, it's going to definitely be body, skin, or all that. Like, mm-hmm. I, I can't deal with nothing that feel look yeah, decrepit right. at all. <laughs> <laughs> but That's what you... What's the age? I think it's just on how the person took care of themselves. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, everybody don't age the same. Mm-hmm. And some people might look good, and then you touch them, older skin feel different in general. It's it don't matter. I would say older skin feel a little different. Got it, man. So what's but, the eldest age for you? Uh, I don't know. Like I said, it, it, it would just depend on... Yeah. What if the old Jane got her body done? Oh, I might have smashed. I might have smashed. I, mean, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. So ain't and no cap is, on it. Ain't no cap on it. The youngest I probably deal with is like 24, 25. Okay. Nah, you talking you? about as a girlfriend? Oh. Yeah, but you said that's, smash. That's, that's, that's y'all see y'all. Ain't that's no thing. Thing. As long as you legal, 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 legal yeah. Yeah. smash. Yeah. That's why I uh, pinpointed like as me. As a girlfriend, it ain't no uh, fuck no. I wouldn't have no 20, girlfriend that's twenty one. Yeah. It changes if you saying a relationship so, and sex is two totally different things. Yeah. For sure. But I'm saying the D would, I wouldn't deal with nobody under 24. I'm saying that when you say that, you saying like, when you say D would, you yeah, saying relationship. relationship. Mm-hmm. Or dealing with them in any manner. Well, you're you're smashing some uh, younger than 24, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a big difference. Big difference. Lady. The youngest, I'm going to just go, I'm going to start there. The youngest I'm going. Yeah. I'm not trying to be funny, but it's 28, 26. I can't do nobody in my generation. Like, I've been there, done it. I, I ain't got the time for it. <laughs> they immature as fuck. Real shit. The oldest I'm going, I can't really answer that because I don't have to I've actually done shit with a 50-year-old, so I can't put an answer that. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been. <laughs> Definitely wasn't. I mean, she but must have right. enjoyed it because she ain't saying she ain't gonna do it again. Yeah, you, you know, it's a lot of women that like um, older men or whatnot. Like that's mm-hmm. that's what they go for, mm-hmm. and I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with it because uh, I mean, depending on what you in it for, type of shit. Like if this man giving leadership and mm-hmm. those qualities, trying to teach you the game and all that, that's cool. But um, if you just tricking off and she and he tricking, that's a different ball game. For me, bro. Yeah. Personally, I'm not genuinely dating past 50. Now, if I'm in there for the insurance and all that, mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. yeah, crazy. But genuinely, like, falling in love past long 50 long. is a no-go for me. Um, unless you Smash. like Pam, Pam Grit. Smash. Smash, yeah. If you like Pam Grit, 
Cause fam, what, you like, wouldn't smash nothing over that if the body and everything anyone. snaps. Yeah, I'm gonna smash. Oh yeah, yeah, so ain't no cap. I, I mean, I'm just saying. Let's say she's sixty. I'm gonna smash. No cap really though. It's crazy. What's the youngest? The youngest as far as smashing, like you said, it's some crazy looking joint. So 21, 22 to smash, but the stage, I can't do a mind set under 25. I'm no. Okay. Flies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. If your significant other in a situation where they meet they celebrity crush, is it cheating if they smash? <laughs> 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 what the fuck type question is that question? It don't matter <laughs> what it <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's that you never know mm-hmm. once in a lifetime change. Cause people ask that it's shit all the cheating. time. Like, babe, if I ever met Scissor, bitch, don't even would, ask would, me. Would, I know you're you gonna do. Let me watch. Nah, I'm saying like if, if I ask you, I ask you, and, and in your mind it ain't gonna never happen. So in your mind you're like, yeah, hey, if you ever meet Scissor and she willing to let you fuck nigga, go ahead. And now I'm running the Scissor one day, yeah. and she really let me smash. Is it cheating? Yeah, it's still cheating, but I mean... <laughs> you told me I could. I mean, it's still... Nah, you gave him a, you gave him a green light. It's still cheating, cheating, but I mean, I just got to think of it like, damn, it is scissor. I can be like, like yeah. Been, I can be like, oh, yeah, I fuck <laughs> scissor, <laughs> man. <laughs> like, you know, like, I don't know. It's I don't know. It's it's like you would be, for me personally, I was, I would say okay while we talking about it but if it actually happened i really don't know what, what i would like how i would feel but yeah it's still cheating because we together and you stepped out not with not not with permission yeah that's not cheating with permission that is cheating, cheating is when you do shit and the other person so don't you know. sitting there taking the test and you ask the teacher hey teacher can i look at his test that's still cheating if the teacher say yeah that's still cheating that's still cheating some teachers are saying yeah to see if you really gonna do that shit. It's, it's baseball games for kids that they allowed to travel. That's like it's, it's still traveling. It's no, still like shit. Nah, that's, Come on, that's man. Shit. <laughs> like shit. It's an open I don't know. Book I mean, it's still. I looked in the book. But it's still cheating. I asked you I before. You told me I could. I don't know. Because, I mean, if you say you damn, be like damn, basically. So, would you. I don't even say you hating. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, <right. laughs> I don't know. I'm just. Out of here. Can I watch? Can I watch? So, do you think your woman not gonna take the opportunity of smashing her favorite celebrity? I, you, you, it's, it's over from there. Like, go ahead, do your thing. I ain't mad at you. I respect it. Go ahead, do your thing. I be calling my man. You know, Chris Brown just smashed my back, my baby and shit. Exactly. You know what I mean? But like, I think about a business. This is but just I hit something out. that Chris Brown was into. <laughs> this is my baby. Chris Brown hit that J. Uh, I'm all right. I oh, respect okay. it, but this bitch cheated. I sent her, sent her about her business. Damn. But it, it's over after that. Yeah, yeah it's it over. over. But she tells you. But Chris Brown's gonna show you an experience that I can't show you. <laughs> <laughs> and you think Chef and Michael are gonna do the same Don't gotta keep fucking with the nigga, though. Wow. And you think I'm gonna have to keep fucking with Chris Brown? Son Chris Brown ain't gonna fuck me? Chris Brown just gonna, he gonna smash you and send you about your way. He fucks with you in some way. He gonna send you about your way. He ain't wiping her up. Yeah, he just, uh, I'm saying it's a one and done. Yeah, oh, oh, she ain't wiping her up. She's out of there. One and done. She's out of there. Shit. So yeah. y'all saying I mean, it's, it's cheating, but it's acceptable cheating because no. y'all are talking about it's it. It's no you, acceptable. Nah. What's, your, what's your question? What was the initial question? The question is: Is it cheating if your uh, significant other run into their celebrity crush and have sex? And the premise is y'all talked about it already. Like I said, the yeah, yeah, y'all had this know? conversation and you already gave them the green light, thinking like you ain't gonna never run into this person. This person ain't gonna never oh. wanna deal with you. That's permission. You fucked up when you lied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should I underestimate under the cheating. universe? Yeah, you know that. Yeah, yeah. that's what I ain't having it in me. Yeah. Yeah, of course, baby, happy. yeah, you can fuck all the bitches in the world. <laughs> then you go go do it. It's, it's a problem. You ain't think it was he was capable. And I feel like Chris Brown, an underachievement in my world. I feel like you got to pick a nigga like Denzel or something. 
Because if Denzel fuck you, I'm probably might not break up with you. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't. Yeah. Damn. Nah, she uh, gone. Okay, <laughs> she gone. gone. So you basically, go, you go with the next time. Oh, she, man. She, she gone, like, man. Because so. in my head, Denzel was Look, just never. Gonna I gave you permission, you. and maybe I gave you permission because I don't think this ever gonna happen. Then it happened. Okay, I'm breaking up. With but the woman did the same thing. <laughs> I, I don't care. It wasn't cheating. You ain't she cheat. Got yeah. So did he. No. She rolled your. She rolled <laughs> Okay, she was no. wilding on that thing. No. No. She her juice is still on your. Her private. thought that game probably vicious. I don't care how much vicious. girls think they shit torture or whatever. Crazy, they, they're man. getting. They're getting poked. They're I'm, not. I'm gonna add something to it. And she. And she tagged right. you in the picture. Oh, no. You you submit. Oh no, nah, that's OC. She posted oh, a picture with your so fans. Yeah, what's you want to say? If I ain't say, hey, you better just work out. <laughs> you better now. You better take that picture and go home. Uh. That was your. That's what you did right there. <laughs> that's you all you. You love me so much, right? Trying to fuck. You just wanted the picture, right? Just the picture. What the fuck you trying to get in for? No. You just wanted the picture. <laughs> Uh, you want some freaky shit? That means you want freaky shit. Yeah. You want freaky. You just and I ain't gonna. Shit. I ain't gonna say you, I'm. I'm breaking up with you because you cheated. I'm breaking up. Breaking up with you because no, you got smashed on. That's crazy. That's it. I gave you permission. You did it. And go about your business. You did what you wanted to do. Why would I want to be with somebody? I'm, I'm not gonna tell you, baby. Please don't cheat on me. Go do what I'm you want to do. Go do what you want to do. If this what you want to do, this what you gonna do. And you gonna. Do and then you let. Me, yes. Because you show me who you are. I, I, I shouldn't have to stay. But you, but you told me it was okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not controlling her. Go do what you want to do. It's just like, baby, uh, I don't like you going not, to the club. It's not okay, but I can't tell you what to yeah. do. I, exactly. But that's if I asked is. you and you said yeah, why would you know me? Uh, yeah, that's, is yeah, I told that's, you lie. that's different. If a nigga lie, your dumbness. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, you better not do shit. All right, so you smash that you, you smash yeah. that female select. Yeah, um, I'm gonna leave that's your one and only chance. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, cause Shada said yeah, well, do permission like. is not cheating, girl. Yeah, it's not cheating. It's not cheating. Like I said, I'm not it's holding her. I'm not gonna say you cheated on me. I'm gonna say the nigga smashed you. No takebacks. Out of here. She just said, see now, this is exactly how threesomes lead to breakups. Mm-hmm. Cause hating. Uh-huh. All cause hating. Mm -hmm. Hey, like I said, why you was looking at her like that? Why, why you was, you think? know what I mean? I hit you all year. Yeah, yeah now you. Why you get mad? You and look, mention. but I love and you, you more. Love. You just gave this gift to me. Uh, beautiful. Exactly. Yeah, come on, now. Cause I, done, I got you. I finally got something new. Good. The fuck? That's like I, I got some new food. I love. You think I'm gonna I'm gonna eat it the same way I eat noodles every night? Crush the shit. Out of <laughs> This new shit torch. I'm a good uh, love it while I got it, and if I never get it again, it's too bad. Uh, that's why people mind. learn to um, not even appreciate that woman. Nah, it's the same left. thing they've been dealing with, and it was like, damn, you lost appreciate it wasn't perfect. Noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Crust of noodles. Tired to it. All right, I got one more betrayal or love. So let's say, hey, you in a relationship? It's a new relationship, right? Somebody you just you you just start dating. Y'all ain't even together yet. You start noticing your best friend and this person keep having little moments. Your best friend comes to you and tell you like, I don't know, like I think they cool as shit. The person wind up coming to you and telling you, Hey, I don't really want to deal with you, I don't really see it going nowhere. Like I feel bad about it, but I kind of like your best friend. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on. Say that last part again. It's fucked up for y'all. Like person, my two friends, my girl and my friends fell in love? Yeah. And what's your question about it? The question is, is it betrayal? Y yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Y'all can have each other, but y'all are wild. It's definitely betrayal. It's fuck both of y'all. It's mm -hmm. you. What's your angle? Like, what? what <laughs> you, you, you just met the person. You don't even really know them. They just start coming around. But is it my girl? Nah. I said oh, nah. you just you, really start oh, talking to them. Like, oh, uh, hell no. She, she, chose. Yeah, she chose. Yeah, she chose. Is everybody up for grabs? Yeah, she if chose. That, if it's your girl, that's crazy. Yeah. Nah, I, that's what I said. Y'all ain't dating. Y'all just started talking. Oh, like, y'all don't really know this person. Yeah. 
Hey, like, but you bring them around, like that, get them, bring them around the gang or something, hey. and then they hey. done locked eyes with somebody Two else. Act like I don't know, cuz, cause I'ma still try. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't get mad at it, bro. They fall in love though. Like they they get in a whole relationship relationship. I introduced them. If he don't tell me that's his joint, and he no, love, like now he no. come back like man, I'm, I'm like Slim. I love Shawty. Like yeah, I don't, you got her first. I'm like, cuz I don't need to fight that. Hey, cuz I you'll tell you, yeah, it's like. Two niggas from the same neighborhoods, always look at the same girl, and then one nigga down the line, that's his jank. Oh, I ain't gonna try my hand no more. Yeah. But I used to look at her and know she looked good. I would have tried yeah. my hand if I had the option, but you used to see this first. Now I know to be like, that ain't that no more. You yeah. agree, FP. You agree. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's a big story because she chooses. Like you yeah. said, he ain't spent yeah. no quality time with her for him to really be claiming her. Uh, right, and your man said, like, man, look, I think I'm feeling shawty. Shawty that came back at the day if, two. if he holler at me like that, yeah. some man shit, I'd be like, bro, go ahead. But if he try, if he try, nah, no, no back door at all. Yeah, okay. yeah. Everybody yeah. on the ups yeah. with it. Everybody be, came straight up like, man, look, I uh, think I'm feeling this person. The other person came to you like, man, I'm thinking I'm feeling your friend. Like, my bad, you know, we met first. And I, ain't I, even I, my I, bad. I, 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 I feel met weird. you through them. That but, is, like, I, I, like, would you mind? Because, I mean, that's a situation. Like, Damn, girl. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm still, I'm going to ride home and shit. Let me just take her home and see if y'all can, y'all, y'all can do what y'all after. But, no, nah, fuck no. Um, That's not betrayal to me. Nah. And it's up. it's not even that serious to come to me and say, my bad, bro, uh, she chose me. Nah, that, that ain't better. I brought here. You bring her I'm the man. And I'm now, the man. I brought all the women around. All y'all get something. You know what I mean? Go ahead. I feel like the ladies don't feel the same. Niece. Lily, you wanna go first? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm talking to if I'm talking to somebody. No, you just met that person you brought. Yeah, we're talking. We're talking. Yeah, when probably. you first meet somebody, you're in the talking process. So what, what So you're talking Because I'm I'm thinking person. like No, this not my dude, but we're talking, right? And this is my best friend, like my best friend. And she know how I feel about this person, cause if that's Y'all my. Y'all don't got no feelings about this person. Y'all still just. She you know just said. Y'all that changing he that came, shit. He literally just said that he came to you and was like, "I'm in love with this girl." No, he said nothing about, about the other person. Down the line, down the line to the man. To the hey, man. Y'all changing this shit, man. To the man. All right, so I'm gonna say it my way. I feel as though, whenever I get a nigga number, my friend know. Regardless, regardless, I don't care. I don't care. My friend know. So if you know that I'm talking to this person and you start to and you start to develop feelings for that person, like you said, on some real shit, come to me. But I'm not gonna be cool with that shit. I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't matter that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I have feelings for him. I mean, if um, it don't matter that I don't have feelings for him. I just met him. Obviously, I'm trying to get to know him. Exactly. I'm trying to get to know him. So if by you come in and you talking about some, oh yeah, I like his vibe. I like this. I like that. I want to get to know him. And he came to and you. He and he came to me. And he come to me. And he told me, yeah, I like your friend. Da da da. I like her vibe. You know, I don't think you and I can. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna to feel y'all. some type of way. Yeah, I'm gonna feel some type of way. And I'm just gonna know from now on. I can't bring anybody that I'm interested in to get to know around you because see, that's something that you possibly can keep doing. Right. Like, you ain't about to do that to so me. So, and I later feel like on it's down the line, them. you find out they got married. They got three kids. I would be happy for them, but I'm still not, I'm not going like to fuck your with best friend, Bertrand, you? Yeah. Because you yeah. ain't know? What? To the wedding? What's the betrayal part? That they in love or that you, that you didn't know? Um, the betrayal part to me would be the fact that you was even looking at him that way, or you was looking but, at uh, you was yeah. looking at my friend that way, and he was looking at my multiple people at the same time. You can, but if not in why that same friend circle. My friend, if why, my it's friend, all these why other females the out here? That you no, know I'm talking to. You're weird. We all in Very a group. Much. It's a group setting, and You're we all talking weird. and like it don't matter. It don't matter. Because again, if you are my if you are my friend, and I start liking this one more. That's not betrayal. 
But if trial you, is, you know. if I know you like that person. As a woman, if I you are my fly, friend, that's when you need to stop you shouldn't your be trying around, to. I mean, your or girl, right? Like Missy friends. said, why are you looking at the person that I'm, I'm talking to? Exactly. That's just We're like, friends. And, that's just like we just met. You and I just met. Y'all guys and got y'all cut. you around my friends that's and shit like that. Off. But you, you supposed to be here with me, but you feeling Lily more. Like what? Like and then y'all to coming to me, y'all coming to me talking about something. Oh yeah, we feeling each other. Like how y'all think I'm supposed to feel? That's fucked up. Like you came here off the strength of me. And you you go, here with me. You get in that's that car alone, you can cry. You can cry in the car. Hey. Oh yeah, I'm gonna cry in the car. <laughs> yeah, you gonna cry in the car. I'm gonna cry in the car. That is. I think women I, just don't yeah, I sneak slide on the side and still grill your friend while I'm fucking you, and yeah, she know yeah. about it. And then both yeah, of y'all, and then that's the betrayal. That's that betrayal. becomes no, betrayal. betrayal. I understand yeah, that is being betrayal, betrayal, but that's betrayal by your best friend because I ain't had shit to do with y'all relationship yeah, or friendship. If I didn't, I if I didn't like, I like her, and that's what most women know about it. And I told her I wanted to tell you, and she was like, "Man, she ain't that type of." Bitch, man, you mm-hmm. may as well keep smashing her, and we just gonna do us on the side. No, no, for sure. Yeah, nah, I don't know. I mean, I had a situation before where you know I was started talking to a dude, and then you know I found out like months later, like after we stopped talking, that my friend started talking to well somebody I thought was my friend, but the fact that she didn't say nothing to me, and he didn't say nothing to me, and it was just like hit. It was just like, damn, how can I call you my friend? I can't trust you. So to me, that's betrayal. I mean, in my situation, I said they both tell you. Yeah. Oh, they both tell. Yeah. That's, 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 that's different. But I still think that's weird as fuck because it, it why would weird, you want to? Why, it ain't why would you even want anything that I was interested in? Like, I'm so it's happy me and my friends. Y'all only love what other like, women like. What that's man, weird. What if he be like, man ain't popping. I like her now, and she like, shit, I'm cool with him. Yeah. Then both of y'all motherfuckers weird. That's just, I, that's hating shit. That's I, not. I, I, I'm about to say, because especially if the situation yeah. leads to your best friend getting married to this person, if you yeah. done ended up your friendship with this like, person and now they done went on and lived a happy life together, you was in the way. So yeah. now you done lost a friend and they done gained their, you know, person for the rest of their life. And you mad about nothing for real. Right. They told you. Because they came to you. And and that's when you. that jealous friend come around right. that, and behave and like shit. Your boy. It's different. I'm say, y'all wasn't your even together. Y'all had friend. just met two weeks ago. We was at the same concert when y'all met. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got each other number. Y'all showed back up to the crib. Him and his homie came. I ain't really like the homie. He liked me more than he liked you. And now we want to talk to each other. I don't know. I never really been in yeah. that type of situation, but yeah, yeah. Shit I, 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 it's I, plenty of this. I'm about to say that that happened all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> plenty. Jane, we both went right there. The Jane was for me. She got on his line. I'm like, oh, I ain't no head. Switch. And I got and I looked up. Her sister like me. You know what I'm saying? I've been in a situation <laughs> where I've brung a woman somewhere, and some of my men there, and they done. Sat in the corner and occupied her too long, and now the lady she brung ain't occupied. Now I don't went and started talking to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, brother, I'm texting in the middle of this. Hey, bro, what's up over there? He's like, man, that ain't me. You good? Yeah. Do you? I, I just think it's women don't like being rejected in a way. I yeah. think I think yeah. the men more in a way like, they don't like to be. Re- they don't know how to take me. Like, used to it. I'm out. I'm cheering them right. on. So at least mm-hmm. one of us winning. But women don't want to get re- be odd out of this they situation. They go crazy. So, yeah. Hell no. Women can't accept rejection. Yeah, but we going to, um, anybody else on this topic, because we're going we gonna to call it a night. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 hey. We well, appreciate y'all for tuning in uh, the Checkmate Podcast. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Checkmate, we out. Not yet. Yeah, yeah, get him out of there. He's only being slow at a job today. It's all right. I'm going to get him some weed. I'm going to get it. Oh, the uh, mouse. Yeah. Oh, shit. See, we can read these comments then. Oh, yeah, go over the comments. Just go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Sade said, y'all just met right. I don't know. Maybe it's me. I wouldn't care. Scotty Piffin said, the only way your homegirl should or could ever get a pass on talking to who you talking to is if she came at you like your auntie on some, ooh, girl, <laughs> you got good taste. <laughs> you wild. <laughs> for real, for real, you got to pay homage, show respect, that's all.
So they said she gonna stay out of it. She That's said awesome. shorty and the white sounds like she's stubborn. Nah, just big up her for having good taste on some real shit and have respect. I feel like man. Oh, I not bitter. Oh, rude. I could never be bitter to y'all. I feel like I bring somebody good around. My homie wind up getting cooler with him than I did. I can't be mad at that. Man, you I'm got like, it. Uh, and then if y'all turn out to get married, I'm going to be geek. You got to let me be the best man at the wedding. So what? I can talk about shit. Y'all even want to come to that what? shit? I'm, I'm Ned, best man. I want to talk my shit. I, don't be like, hey, I bagged her first. I, I bagged her. <laughs> she wasn't fucking with me, though, y'all. I ain't going to hold you. It's cool. Can't uh, talk to Brody. Nah. Man, Brody was a good ass man. That's right. We not hiding nothing. Mm-hmm. We is gang over here. Especially if I ain't hit, man. If I ain't fuck, like. That's what I'm saying. Cause y'all man. just met. We ain't even do nothing. <laughs> like I got I your number at the at the weird. spat one time, and now I done met yeah, your too. friend, and now I, I, I think, think your friend cool. look better than you. Me and her vibe cooler. You pick her over me. Yeah. That's how you should. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, cause that is just. Yeah, cause that is just. No, I just think that it, shit is weird. Only, only love can go on Like, I'm not stopping. This yeah. weird as fuck. <laughs> hey. It is weird. Straight to the stars. I was 13 when we first met. Now you can't keep us apart. She got a key to my heart. Came through like a thief in the dark. I fell asleep in the car. Chief in the zone. Can't wait to see her tomorrow. So we can do it again and again and again. Bamboo, she so soft. I just mix in the blend and I blew in the wind. And got my mind on cloud number nine. Yeah, I'm high, but I'm still on my grind all the time. Ay. I'm blowing on. One and not the two not the They call two. you Mary Jane But I prefer to call you boo call you Sometimes boo. I call you babe Me and you, we can't get paid babe. When I burn you, it's good vibes I ain't gotta burn no sage hey, hey. I'm blowing on the one and not the two not the They call two. you Mary Jane But I prefer to call you boo call Sometimes you boo. I call you babe Me and you, we can't get paid babe. When I burn you, it's good vibes I ain't gotta burn yeah, no sage yeah, yeah. Star shit, how do I pop? Perfected your growth, that dad's an art. I think of a movie, you playing a part. You was the broad, I was the coolest. Busting my moves with we was exclusive. You was a muse, now I'm abusive. I admit it, I ate or shit it. You assisted, now that's addiction. Lately, I'm wishing you never existed. Really ain't fair to compare you to bitches. I was a pup just learning to fuck. Breaking you down, burning you up. Supposed to be pimping, you earning a buck. You ain't no whore, you gone.